Happy Thursday. Thanks for being with us. We are glad you continue to be on this uh, journey with us. We continue the story of the rich fool, and uh, God uh, is confronting this man about his, uh, his arrogance. What are you going to do with all these extra crops, he says to himself. I will know what I will do. I will tear down my barns, and I will build bigger barns. And then I will say to my soul, Soul, you have everything. Eat, drink, be merry, enjoy your life. Here's an interesting question. It's that word soul. Some translations have it life, some have it self. But this guy was talking to his innermost being. All of us have this chamber in our heart where nobody else goes, where we just go. And it's those, that place where we go and we make all of the most important decisions of our life. And you kind of go in there and you shut the door behind you and you think about what matters and you think about who you are and you think about what you've done and who's done it to you. And that, that happens in that deep place in your heart. And this is where that guy went. And he said, soul. That's his word. The first great commandment is love the Lord your God with all of your heart, all of your mind, all of your strength, essence, all of your soul. And this guy, there is no word of thanksgiving for how well the crops came in. There is no word of praise for the abundance of God. This guy is blessing himself. Soul, you did good. Soul, take it easy. It's all about me. You, you know people like this, don't you? They're just black holes that when they walk into a room, they just suck all of the light into themselves. <laughs> That's this guy. He doesn't need God's validation. He's not looking for God's blessings. Why? He's already done that for himself. So, what will you do? So, I will eat, drink, and be merry. And then God says, you fool. Now, for you and I, fool is a slang word, not for God. Uh, fool is mentioned a lot in Ecclesiastes and Proverbs. A fool will not listen to wisdom. A fool will not ever learn. But a fool has said in his heart, there is no God. A fool has said in his heart, I will not be accountable to anybody. I won't answer to anybody. Now, we're going to see who you answer to. Now, a lot of people think this guy died. We're not told that. Said his soul is required. But you know people whose soul has been required and they didn't die. Yeah, you've met them. Uh, successful, rich, but when you look in their eyes, there's nobody home. They are empty. That's why you and I are watching so many zombie movies lately, because that's the way we feel. We are dead, but we're still walking around because we have crossed the line and our soul's been required of us. That's this guy. So here's the question for today. Whose blessing are you looking for? Who validates your life? Is it yourself? That's this guy. So you've done well, so, you know, broke his arm, patting himself on the back kind of thing. Or is it, are you looking for the validation of God, the blessing of God? Who validates your life? I'll give you about 60 seconds to start thinking about it, and I'll see you next time.